Today I'm going to be pulling off the rear tires on a 2006 Pontiac G6. We're going to be checking out those rear brakes, see how bad they are. The person wants me to do all the brakes all around on this vehicle because they are making a lot of grinding noise. I don't know if you saw part one. It had a lot of rust build up from sitting around. So I'm just going to quickly check the backs. Jack and safety jack stand. You always want to be safe when you're working on a vehicle. 19 millimeter socket for these uh, lug nuts. Now if the wheel is stuck, sometimes kicking it will knock it right out. So I'm going to take the two bolts out of this caliper. pads are not that bad but we're gonna go ahead and get this rotor off and see what it looks like on the back side it's feeling kind of rough so to get the caliper bracket off there's two bolts behind here one here and one right there you're gonna need a wrench to get the top one out because you won't be able to get a socket in there top bolt for the caliper bracket it's probably not going to come out because it's going to hit this bolt here so I'll just leave it in there when you put the bracket back on that'll be the first bolt that goes on the bracket now let's take a look at this rotor on the back side yeah these rotors are in bad shape on the back side see all that rust build up there there's no way I'm going to be able to get that out unless I take this to the um, machine shop and have them turned but I don't even know if it's worth doing that I'll let them know that he needs rotors on the back and uh get that on for them now these calipers to get that piston to go inside the caliper you need a special socket something like this this is actually a handmade tool that I made out of a socket it's got two teeth on it and that engages inside of that piston there and then it allows me to turn that piston in and if it's frozen in there doesn't want to turn that means this is junk now that I know that I can't screw this piston back in I'm gonna to have to get new calipers for the rear they're all frozen up there is no uh, getting this piston back down so we're gonna to have to remove this caliper off of here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clamp off the holes So it doesn't leak brake fluid. Now we gotta get this cable off of here. like that brake cable out of that mount so GM is known for this these things will rust out inside here and you won't be able to screw them back down being a 2006 I thought there was gonna be a uh, issue with the rear brake calipers now I know for sure well 
We're waiting on the brake rotors and the caliper to arrive. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this hub as best as I can with the wire brush. Try to get as much rust off the hub as I can. A little PB blaster on the hub. Don't have to do that, but I like to. Protects the metal. Take the uh, caliper bracket, clean up the area where the hardware for the brake pads go. All the slides. And I like to take these slide pieces out, the pins, wipe it up. Take some brake caliper grease, put a light coat on there. And you put the pin back where it was. And I do one at a time so you don't mix them up. And put that back. All right, so that's good. That's nice. Moving freely. No binding. Put the hardware back in those tracks or where it belongs. The new hardware. So what I like to do, take a little bit of my brake grease. And I just lightly coat the inside of that track. And we put the hardware on the other side. And that caliper bracket is ready to go. Take the brake hose, clean that area really good. Get the rotor so we can put that on there. Take a nut just to hold the rotor in place. It's nice is the new caliper comes with the new bracket and everything on it. I am going to remove this to make it easier to install. So I'm removing the two bolts of the bracket to get the caliper off. Now we can put the hardware kit inside that new bracket. Then we install the bracket. Oh, I have a little bit of play in the rotor. So you can get this bracket slipped on behind that bolt there. Get the other bolt started. Start all these by hand because you don't want to strip them. sure they're both good and tight now I can put this rotor back up against the hub put this back on Pat on the front side all right both pads are in so now we take the caliber Emergency brake cable slides through the bracket. So now I gotta pull this back into underneath the bracket. This is not easy to do, I tell you. <clears throat> Woo! Yeah, boy. All right, so before you can put this caliber on, we need to turn this piston so that the piston. Uh, indentations are facing up and down now the caliber can go on easily I'm gonna take the caliber mounting bolts and get this back on you are gonna have to hold this from spinning the slide it needs to be held so it doesn't spin Put 
them good and tight. Now we take the boat. Goes on the brake line. Wash on the back side. And that goes right into the caliber. Tighten it up good and snug. Remove the clamp off the brake hose. Now we need to open the bleeder. You sit in there, just pump the brake for me. I'll tell you to go down, you go down with it, you hold it down. And then I'll tell you to uh, come up, you come up with it. Down. Go up. Down. Go up. Down. One more time. Up. Down. All right, we're good. That's it for now, buddy. You can go back if you want. Is this paid by the hour? <laughs> this is paid by the minute. All right, now that we uh, bled, or well, the brake system's bled, we'll go ahead and get this tire back on. <laughs> Very last thing you want to do is Check your uh, brake fluid reservoir. Make sure it's right where it says max. If it's low, go ahead, open the cover, and add some what's called dot three brake fluid. Check your brake pedal before you put it in gear or reverse. Make sure you still have a good brake pedal. And once you're comfortable with that, you're good. Now you can put it in, in gear. That's all there is to it. It's more complicated because I had to do that caliper. But if that caliper doesn't turn back in, you know that caliper is no good. It's all rusted out. You need a new caliper. Don't even mess with it. Uh, don't try to repair it because I don't think you're going to be able to do it. Just get yourself a new caliper. They're, uh, I don't want to say they're cheap, but it's the word I'm looking for. You want to do your brakes and do them correctly. In the end, what it's about is about doing the job properly and uh, making sure, you know, it leaves here with the proper working parts. That's it. Don't forget, pump your brake up. Make sure you got a good brake pedal before you take off of your car. You all take care. God bless. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.